What if we told you that Elon Musk wants you to have brain surgery? More specifically, he wants you to get a brain-machine interface that is created by Neuralink, which happens to be his other ambitious company. This implant could save lives and possibly be the next step of human evolution triggered by humans themselves. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Ever since the first amphibians rose and began to walk on land, our early ancestors developed what we call the brain, and the brain is responsible for everything. It also controls the unconscious part of life, like breathing and heartbeat regulation. So you could say that our brains have evolved up to the survival layer. So what if Elon Musk could incorporate a digital layer into the existing survival layer, which could enhance humans similar to what you might have watched in sci-fi movies? You might think Elon's most influential companies would be Tesla and SpaceX. Well, that is not the case because Neuralink, which happens to be a neurotechnology firm co-founded by Elon in 2016, will change the future of humanity forever. Now, machines that connect to the human brain that translate electrical signals of the human brain to a digital signal are not new. It has been around ever since 2006. But ever since then, neuroscientists and engineers have worked on this technology to make it a lot better and it looks like the final iteration or the beginning of something huge would be Elon Musk's Neuralink. Musk is looking forward to altering the architecture of the human brain with these machine implants. Scientists still need to learn a lot about how the brain works to turn Elon Musk's idea into reality. The neurological causes of anxiety and addiction are still something that puzzles scientists. So, how exactly does Neuralink connect to our survival layers? Well, Neuralink is all about breaking the evolutionary timeline of humans. Brain cells took millions of years to develop, but with Neuralink, things will be a lot faster as you will be getting a fourth layer for your brain, which has to be the cyborg layer. A surgical robot will implant a link inside your skull, and the first version of these devices will have wires that come out of your head that can sense neurons communicating with each other through electrochemical signals. The link will pick up these signals from neurons and utilize machine learning to decode and encode new signals that will communicate with other neurons, which will directly influence brain functions by affecting the messages that these neurons send and receive. The best part about the cyborg layer of the human brain would be that you could do anything with it. But the most important application for such an implant will be for medical applications. Paralyzed patients could use this link to wirelessly send signals to their limbs to bypass their injured spine. Patients with permanent blindness will be able to use artificial retinas to transmit light information directly to the link. The link will also process information and encode it into neuronal signals that mimic those sent by natural retinas. You will also be able to treat ADHD and OCD with the help of the link because the link will have the ability to measure the number of neurotransmitters in the brain and adjust the production of these signals accordingly. So you might think Neuralink is all about fixing what is broken. Well, that is not the case. Neuralink implants can access the internet, which means it will be able to transmit, store, and process information at incredible speeds. What if you could back up your consciousness and memory into the cloud? What if, instead of calling your friend or texting somebody you care about, you could just beam your thoughts at them? At first glance, Neuralink is all about curing diseases that plague humanity, but Neuralink is also fighting another deadly threat, and that has to be the rise of artificial intelligence. Elon Musk is heading a company that has got some of the world's most advanced artificial intelligence, yet Elon Musk is so concerned about the existential threat of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence could be the reason for another mass-level extinction event on our planet. We know that moving forward, artificial intelligence will be replacing so many jobs in the manufacturing manufacturing sector and those low-wage service jobs like fast food workers and warehouse staff. You could try to stop something like climate change, but AI is unstoppable because so many companies invest billions of dollars in improving their systems by having artificial intelligence work for them in their favor. So yes, things are looking scary and Elon knows that you cannot beat an artificial intelligence system considering the rate at which they progress. So. The only option is to join hands with artificial intelligence, and that's precisely what Neuralink is all about. So, how can you survive the advancement of artificial intelligence? Well, humans need to alter what they are. That's exactly what evolution was all about. But today, that is not easy because our technology is evolving faster than how we humans evolve. So, Neuralink is all about developing ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. 
It's more like a chip that will be implanted into your brain to achieve some sort of symbiotic relationship with artificial intelligence, which can significantly improve our performance and enhance our brain. The company is still working on some of the earlier versions of these implants to understand brain activities, because, let's face it, hacking into our bodies is not as easy as you might think it is. Elon Musk is so optimistic about Neuralink potential as he thinks this is a very important step to ensure a well-aligned future alongside artificial intelligence. Our brain functions differently with the help of a large network of neurons that are communicating through neurotransmitters at the connection point known as synapses. These neurotransmitters are released in response to electrical spikes called action potentials. Everything that you feel is a direct result of these neural spikes. So, by inserting electrode threads, Neuralink implants can actually detect and record the action potentials and selectively stimulate neurons across diverse brain areas. These threads will be applied delicately with the help of robots to minimize damage to the brain and attach to sensors that will be wirelessly connected via Bluetooth or by some other way to a mobile app. Elon Musk earlier this year suggested that the first human trials for Neuralink implants would be carried out within a year, but we know how Elon Musk's deadlines always end up. The first few prototypes of the product will completely focus on offering patients medical treatment for various brain-related injuries. So Neuralink is all about improving the welfare of the human population, and Elon Musk's companies traditionally have been for that purpose. So you might think that the whole cyborg life is a new thing to us. Well, that is not the case, because Elon Musk is of the opinion that humans are already partly cyborg because we depend so much on our phones and our personal computers. The only difference between the current state and the one with an integrated artificial intelligence chip in your brain would be the rate at which data is transferred or the communication speed between us humans and the electronic devices that we use. And right now, it's extremely slow. With Neuralink, things can get a lot faster by facilitating rapid information access and augmenting intellectual capacity. So, with a Neuralink implant, users will have substantial productivity growth, potentially by a factor of 10. Maybe in the future, verbal communication could be completely obsolete. But we don't know that yet. The major concern with any technological advancement is security because you know that you are vulnerable to hackers with your personal devices. But if this technology is directly implemented into your brain, things can go wrong. <laughs> really wrong. The affordability of these brain implants will also cause social and economic inequality. The good news is that Elon Musk still believes that the development of an interface that will enable artificial intelligence symbiosis will be a slow process, and the transition will be gradual enough, but you will still see it's coming. And that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think about Neuralink's effort to give humans a cyborg life? Do let us know in the comments section below because we would love to hear from you all. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and we will meet again in the very next one. So stay tuned.